With an unconditional love for fashion, Italian girl Marta Pulzan shares her unique style and her bold outfits with her blog, itsuperfashion.com. At age 19, you started as a fashion editor in Milan, Italy. Can you tell us a little bit about the experience on that job? Um, well, I graduated in journalism and creative writing and I've always wanted to work in fashion. So, like, landing my first job as a fashion editor assistant at Vanity Fair it was just like a dream job. Like, I couldn't believe it. I got to write my own articles for the website, features and like beauty accessories and Q&As with designers. Yeah. And all the girls in the office were like working on video content. So I would shoot videos with fashion, we can, you know, like interviewing people around. And it was just like a dream, really. And that's when I realized I wanted to do more on camera work. What was the most important lesson that you learned from those experiences from Italy to moving here to LA? And how did that help your blog? Working at Vanity Fair, I got to meet the editor in chief of Vogue Italia. She's a boss. If you have watched uh, the Delaware's Prada, like that's the life that you have when you work for a magazine. You have to fight and take risks. You and your blog have been featured in high end magazines and fashion sites all over the world. Why do you think your blog and style? have a worldwide appeal. I feel like it's mainly my look because I'm Italian, yes, but I could also look French or Spanish and that works really well in the US. And my blog does really well in Mexico and Brazil as well. So the way I put together my outfits is actually understood by like lots of different cultures and countries. Why did you move to Los Angeles? I've always wanted to live in the States and you know Italians always go to New York and I'm like no I'm just gonna be different. So I came to LA for the first time when I was 17 just to check it out and study English. And I'm not going to say I knew that I was meant to be here because it's kind of like cheesy, but I knew <laughs> that I wanted to be here eventually. So as soon as I graduated and you know I was done with college and I just came back, but I told my mom, I'm just going to like go for like a few months, you know, like to check it out again. I was really upset, but now she, she actually really likes what I do. What is the most challenging thing about being a blogger? Well, I would say competition because there's so many blogs out there and they're all so great and so many great girls out there. So it's really hard to stand out. When you find that unique perspective that you only you have, then you can really shine. What is your dirty blogger secret? Uh, well, when people ask me what's the process like to get ready for an event, I don't know what to say because it really literally takes me like five minutes to put my clothes on and makeup and hair. It's pretty much always the same. I have to make it more interesting. It's so easy and quick for me. So that's a little bit of a, you know, Secret, little secret. My blog is superfashion.com and on Instagram and Twitter at Marta Pazan. For all things Roxy, go to roxydiaz.com.